Hello, I'm Steven from Calumet and welcome to another video on the new Fuji X-T2. In this video, we're going to compare the X-T1 to the X-T2. So, starting from the top. Here and here, we have the ISO and shutter speed dials. On the X-T1, these are actually fairly small and don't lock. On the X-T2, these are much more pronounced, allowing you to adjust these functions much more easily. They also feature a depression system. So simply press to lock and then press again to unlock. Here we have the shutter button. On the X-T1 this didn't feature a thread for your shutter release cable, which they've now added on the X-T2 for all you old school photographers. They've also removed the video record button located here and taken that functionality and added it to the shutter release button. Next to that we have the exposure compensation dial. On the X-T1 this only went from negative 3 to plus 3, but on the X-T2 this now goes from minus 5 all the way to plus 5. Moving on to the side, you'll notice the X-T2 now features two dual SD card slots, both of which are UHS-2 compatible, whereas on the X-T1 it only features the one card slot. On the base, you'll notice that the X-T2 is a little bit chunkier than the X-T1. This is because of the new heat sink function to allow the X-T2 to shoot 4K video. On the back, you'll notice the three inch LCD screen. On the X-T1, this was adjustable only on the horizontal, like so. On the X-T2, they've now added a release button located here, allowing you to adjust this in the vertical as well. Next, we have the viewfinder. These are both 2.36 million dot viewfinders. The differences you'll find between the X-T2 to the X-T1 is it's slightly larger on the X-T2, making it slightly more comfortable on the eye. It's also about 50% brighter on the X-T2 and offers up to 25% improved image quality. Here, you'll notice the D-pad, like so. The buttons now are much more pronounced, giving you a much firmer feel and allowing you to adjust the settings with confidence. Fuji have also added a new focus button, allowing you to select your focal points with much more precision. Moving on to the front. The X-T1 features an X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor coming in at 16.3 megapixels. The X-T2 features the X-Trans CMOS 3 sensor coming in at 24.3 megapixels. It also features a new shooting mode called Acros, first demoed on the X-Pro2. The next big improvement is the focusing system. The phase detection area on the X-T1 covers 40% of the sensor, whereas on the X-T2 this has now been expanded up to 75% of the sensor. It also features a new custom shooting mode, allowing you to customise the focusing system to match the style to which you shoot. Moving on to video. The X-T1 shoots full HD at 60 frames per second. The X-T2 will also shoot full HD, but now features 4K at up to 30 frames per second. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll join us next time. Thanks, bye-bye.